Evening. Well, it's not much to look forward to because we can all expect to get old and when that happens, there's apparently no guarantee we'll be treated well. 4 9 49. This, it seems, can be as good as it gets. In half the hospitals of England, you might not even be fed properly. Does this reflect a broader culture of contempt for old people in Britain? How do you think um, older people are treated these days? They're forgotten. Once you reach retirement and you retire, that's it, you know, you're more or less forgotten. The figures, the scenes described, the first-hand testimony and tales from families all add up to a hugely depressing picture. Old people neglected and misused, and no less than a fifth of hospitals probably breaking the law in their so-called care. There's much talk of improved training and better monitoring. But is the real problem a much broader question of our changed attitudes to old age? Uh, it'll come to all of us, as the Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir once remarked, old age is like a plane flying through a storm. Once you're aboard, there's nothing much you can do. Stephen Smith reports. 4 9 49. If life really is a lottery, then what kind of a result is it for you when 65 and 70 and even higher numbers start coming around? On the one hand, we're living longer. On the other, it's no thanks to the way some hospitals have been treating the elderly. Today's Care Quality Commission survey found that 40% of the hospitals in England didn't offer what they called dignified care. One incontinent patient was left unwashed for 90 minutes despite calling for help. Doctors were having to prescribe drinking water to make sure patients got a drink. And food was being delivered while patients were asleep taken away before they woke up. People expect quite rightly that when they go into hospital they're treated with dignity and the very basic things of food and water available to them in an appropriate way. It's pretty, you know, it's fundamental to getting, getting well again. Most of us probably look forward to pottering about in retirement, doing a few odd jobs. But on the basis of what we've been hearing today about the lot of the elderly in our society, there's clearly something nasty in the woodshed. Half of the population aged over 75 now live on their own. And half of those aged over 65 think of the television as their main companion. One in 10 in that age group says they feel lonely. Are we just packing the elderly off out of sight? Well, sometimes that's just what they want. Hello, chaps. The men in sheds are a bunch of retired chaps in southeast London who like nothing better than getting out of the house and into this workshop set up by the charity Age UK. It's the banter, the innuendos, the little jokes, tongue in cheek, you know, and that's what you miss from when you, when you pack up work. You know, you miss your, your, your colleagues, your band, what happened yesterday, have you watched the latest football match and whatever? Because the wife's not really interested in that, is she? How do you think um, older people are treated these days? They're forgotten. Once you reach retirement and you retire, that's it, you know, you're more or less forgotten. Women have got the Women's Institute, but there's not a lot for men unless you go down a working men's club. But then again, you finish up as an alcoholic, don't you? John Jones, who's 72, says he's the first here every day and the last to leave. He lives on his own since his partner died last Christmas. Without this, I don't know. I don't really know what I would have done. This is a lifesaver to me, really. A lifesaver? Yeah. Do you miss work? Yes. You do? Yeah, I'd go would to work you? tomorrow. Would you? Yeah. A proper full-time job? Oh, yeah. Roofing, I used to do. I'd go roofing tomorrow, but you I won't let me. You still roof? Yeah. If that's oh, the yeah. verb. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you can't see the trouble is when you're past 65, you can't get the insurance. Too often we ignore what older people contribute to our society, even if they're not economically active or at work. So often that really isn't recognised. 